Hello, Gad News here, welcome to my channel. This time I have two Zeblay smartwatches, Ares 1 and Ares 2. The Ares 1 was and still is a rather popular smartwatch, and it has a good feedback online, while the Ares 2 model is rather a fresh one. It was released in December 2021. Obviously, the case of the RS1 model is very close to well-known Amaze with Neo watch case. Both ones look almost identical. And the RS2 watch case somehow looks very close to the Casio G-Shock GA2100 model. It's a rather smart move, as this Casio model was a huge hit three years ago. The good news is both watches aren't oversized as most Chinese smartwatches. The square shaped RS1 is about 42mm and the RS2 is a bit larger, being 45mm in diameter. Both watches use almost the same hardware, check the list. The RS2 has a larger battery capacity, so it provided two extra days of use. RS1 lasted 7 days, while the RS2 watch lasted 9 days. The finish level of the RS1 model is good. All elements and records are accurately made and printed. The plastic case is firmly assembled. Can't name any issue here. It's very light and comfortably sits on the wrist. Definitely, the RS2 watch looks more rugged, the case is more robust and has a 5 ATM water resistant level against the 3 ATM on the RS1 model. The finish level and assembly quality look decent as well, haven't noticed any inaccuracies. The RS2 is also is more expensive, the price is about $40 now, it's 40% more than the RS1 model price. But I guess the price will fall down. Before exploring the functions, check how they look on my wrist. Both watches have rather basic yet most needed functions. Let's browse them on the RS1 watch first. So we have activity data view, heart rate and blood pressure monitoring, sleep data analysis, incoming calls and message notifications, music player control, weather forecast screen. The watch has four brightness levels. There are available 13 sport modes for more accurate monitoring. The RS2 watch has all the same functions and some extra ones. Additionally, it has an oxygen level monitoring feature and two games, the 2048 and the Young Bird.
Also, it has a remote shutter function for your smartphone camera, but it uses 7 sport modes compared to 13 on the RS1 model. The good news we have more than 300 different watch faces. The watch can store four faces in the memory and others you can download using the Verifit and the Fit applications. Both watches show almost identical results when measuring the heart rate, and I do believe these results are very close to true ones, while the blood pressure results are slightly different. Anyway, we cannot qualify these results as true data, as the watches are not certified medical devices. I wore both watches at once for 24 hours, so can compare the activity and sleep data. As you can see, both ones show rather close step count numbers. Well, the accelerometer sensors aren't very smart, as you can make steps just by swinging your arms. And it's the same story with both watches. The sleep data differ for more than one hour. The RS1 shows more accurate results here. It's rather strange, but the watches use different applications. The functionality and the navigation are very close, though. So we have activity, heart rate, blood pressure, as well as data, data views. The apps are quite basic, but they are clear on how to navigate and adjust the settings. Other functions like incoming call and message notifications, music control work well. The Bluetooth connection is steady on both devices. The silicon band of RS1 watch is soft and flexible. It adapts well to your wrist and sits on it very comfortably. The pin buckle is metallic. I didn't try, but looks like this band should fit for the Amaze Fit Neo watch and vice versa. The rubber band of the RS2 watch is stiffer than on RS1 model. It tends the wrist a bit. Other than that, the quality is rather good. I've tried to switch it with the Casio GA2100. As you can see, it fits the Casio watch pretty well. Yet, I couldn't mount the Casio band on the RS watch case. It looks like the Casio band pins are too thick to fit. So, which one is better? Well, I can't say for sure. Both look good on wrist, are decently made and do the job rather well. The RS2 has a different, tougher look, which is very close to Casio G-Shock GA2100. It is more robust and has a 5 ATM water-resistant level. The RS1 looks more elegant, is lighter and is more comfortable to wear, while functions on both watches are almost the same. The second version additionally has two games and an oxygen level measurement feature. They use different apps, but they are very similar. The prices at this moment are about 40 US dollars for RS2 watch and 24 dollars for the first RS model. Sure, the RS2 have some advantages, but in my opinion, the main factor for picking one is the look of the watches. Tougher looking RS2 or smaller and more elegant RS1. The choice is yours. I give them a draw. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please give the video a like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching once again and see you next time. Bye bye.